Resident assistants from Drexel University announced their plan to unionize possibly joining the other university's success to unionization. RA from the university submitted a petition to the university president, John Fry, requesting for voluntary recognition. 80% of the RAs signed a petition to form a union with OPIU 153, which has also organized RAs at 11 other colleges. Isabella Curtin, a third-year sociology major RA, wanted to become an RA to increase her leadership skills. Isabella mentions that with all the responsibilities as an RA, they're only getting paid $100 for the month without including tax. We do a lot of work. We do unpaid training over the summer for two weeks. Um, and it's just a lot of work and we feel like we need to be fairly compensated. Even though the job of an RA is classified as a part-time job, it is highlighted that their responsibilities are 24-7. Resident assistants held a protest on Thursday, March 14th, in support of unionization. Junior Giovanna Zappone, in her first year as an RA at Temple University, adds that she is grateful for her position and opportunity to guide other students, but it does have a lot of responsibilities. I've had suicide crisis, I've had intoxicated students, um, things have just our role and my role is to pretty much ensure the safety of almost 400 residents in our building. Drexel currently has the option to voluntarily recognize the union at this point of the unionization process to show respect for their workers. Freshman Matt Gribben agrees with the general idea that Drexel has become corporized and supports the union. I think it's very obvious that Drexel is becoming less of a university and much more of a corporation and I support any action that anyone is taking to stand up against um, John Fry and the shareholders trying to make as much money out of this school as possible. The purpose of Drexel is to educate not to make a profit.